Today I'm reviewing an interesting product. This is a uh, intelligent protection fast charge cable sold by Song on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the video description below. Um, they kind of tout it as a uh, charging protection cable, but uh, really it's uh, kind of just like a uh, USB multimeter with charging protection built in. So it's kind of like a twofer cable. It's an interesting product. I have not seen one that does uh, both functions like this. Um, so we're going to put it to the test today and show you just how well it works. So um, in its essence, it's a, a basically a charging cable with a built-in monitor and protection mechanism. So on one end, you've got your lightning cable with a built-in adapter that will allow you to adapt to micro USB there. Um, on the other side, you have your standard USB connection. So all you're going to do is plug this into any USB port and it will instantly start monitoring the voltage, the volts, the amps, and the milliamps total output over time. So there we've got 5.22 volts and that's pretty good since we don't have anything plugged in. As soon as we plug something in that should drop down to uh, about 5 volts there. That to focus, and we're showing zero milliamp because we have no amps going through it, and that is our total milliamp hours. I'm going to go ahead and reset that by holding down the button, and now what I, when I plug something in, it'll start getting a fresh milliamp hour reading. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the iPhone there, and see what we get. Now we see our milliamp hours are slowly climbing as the power is being fed into the iPhone there. And our voltage has dropped down to an ideal 5.05 volts. And uh, our actual amperage is 0.78 amps. So that's a, that's a good, good rate there. Now let's go ahead and put this to the test by testing it with two other USB multimeters here. I've got this one here. There you can see we're at 5.23 volts and zero amps before plugging in. Plug in. Now we're at 5.17 volts and 0.82 amps, 0 0.84, 0 0.86. And down here you see we're at uh, 760 milliamp hours. To get that in amps, you just put a decimal point in front of the three numbers. So this is 0 0.76 amps, 0 0.75 amps, so they are within uh, 0 0.01 amps of each other. So I'm taking that to mean that the amperage readout is good. Volt-wise, we are getting 5.17 on the first meter there, and 5 volts on this one. And we're losing 0.1 volts there because we're going through all of this cable here. Uh, anytime you go through cable, you're going to lose voltage through uh, a process of resistance. So you know, let's go ahead and plug in this other multimeter here. And we'll probably lose even more volts. Alright, so that's kind of scrolling in a weird way, but we are getting 5.07 volts there, 5.17 volts there, and uh, 4.86 volts there. So each time you uh, go through a connector and each time you go through cable, you're going to lose voltage. That's why it's good to use a, a shorter cable for charging. Um, but our amps are pretty much spot on. We're at 0 0.63 here, 0 0.65 there, and 636 milliamps there. So amperage is uh, right on par. Um, I feel confident trusting that in terms of monitoring the volts and amps. So what does this thing do that uh, these other multimeters won't do? Um, first of all, it has a PC fast charge mode. Basically what this does, if, you, if you're charging uh, plugged into a laptop, it automatically uh, switches the wires to a mode that the laptop thinks it's straight charging and it's not connected via data, and the laptop will then allow it to charge at a faster rate. If you're plugged into any other device, it's not going to matter. Uh, that mode is just there to trick the laptop into thinking you're not connected via a data cable. Um, 
What else does it do? It will automatically shut down if your voltage drops down below 4.4 uh, volts. It'll automatically shut off. It'll automatically shut off if your uh, voltage goes above 5.5 volts. And it'll automatically shut off if you, uh, if you uh, somehow exceed 2.5 amps. Um, you're only going to be able to do that if you're pulling some crazy amount of amps through, uh, through the thing. I could probably do it with this constant current load resistor. Um, but I don't have the adapter to plug into that right now. So I can't put that to the test here on video for you today. Um, but uh, yeah, it actually uh, does a pretty good job. Take a look at the manual here real quick. Make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Yep, that's pretty much it. So it's basically like a USB multimeter with built-in power line protection. So um, you have all the benefits of being able to monitor your source power and the milliamp hours going into a device or a battery bank, as well as the protection of shutting down the current if uh, you fall out of a safe range. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5, even though the um, instructions aren't very well written, and it's not very clear what it does by looking at the box or the Amazon listing. Uh, take my video as a full accounting of what it does, and uh, know that it's it's uh, right in line with uh, my other USB multimeter. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5. Make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. Hit the thumbs up button on the YouTube video, and subscribe to the YouTube channel.